they're basically saying it's so good that we're getting close to making it unsupervised. So before, like, I, if I had my phone in my hand, it would, like, flag me and say, you need to pay attention to the road, you need to pay attention to the road. But now, I barely paid attention to the road. I've been diddling the screen, I've been, like, talking to you guys in this video. My eyes have been forward quite a bit, but, uh, again, it's just getting crazy. Oh, yeah, how can I forget that? That's one of my favorite things. Uh, the outlets in the vehicle. So, you have a, a 120 outlet and a 240 outlet. I still personally haven't used the 240 outlet, however... I am working on doing a setup at my house where I can use the 240 from the truck to power my house. And this truck has PowerShare, which I also don't have set up yet. So the PowerShare basically lets your truck be a backup generator for your house, which is a badass feature. The downside to that is, is like, you gotta spend $5,000 to get it installed in your house. It might be even more than that. It might be more, it might be less, okay? It depends on like the installation costs, like how, how far, far an electrician has to run wiring and, and the, what type of setup they have to do to do it. Uh, but I think just the box itself is like pretty expensive. I wanna say the box itself is like $2,500, which is like the box that has the, like the electronics to do the shifting from like your main power source to the truck's power source. Uh, and it does it instantaneously. Some people say they don't even notice it shifted.